DVD, or degenerative valve disease. Do you hear those regular noises? That is Idle's heartbeat. There, you see? But let's look a little more closely at how it works. Normal blood circulation involves several stages. The blood, our cars in this case, arrives at the heart and builds up in the atrium, a sort of antechamber sealed off by a door or valve. When these valves open, the blood flows into the ventricle, another cavity, where it will be placed under pressure to send it through into circulation. The doors are perfectly tight and the blood can only move in one direction. This dense, very orderly traffic transports oxygen, water, and nutrients. The number of vehicles in circulation depends on the body's needs. And it works like that at each heartbeat. In DVD or degenerative valve disease, the door is not perfectly tight. Look, the cars have enough space to get through even when the door is closed. And under the effect of the contraction of the ventricle, as they are in too much of a hurry to get on, they head off in the wrong direction. That inevitably causes some minor traffic problems. The vehicles are completely disoriented and some of them turn back in the opposite direction, causing a traffic jam in the atrium. There are now fewer cars going in the right direction and we talk about lower blood flow. Poor Idle's heart is obliged to beat much more quickly to make up for this insufficient circulation. Look how tired he gets. And as time goes on, he starts coughing. Let's see why. The traffic jam that forms upstream makes circulation difficult. To ease the traffic, the trucks are taken to one side to empty their water tanks into the lungs. This is what is referred to as pulmonary edema, which causes a cough that is not necessarily very loud, but is repetitive. This will be followed by other symptoms, 